Before you take the Praxis Core math exam, review these tips and tricks, as well as other information that will help you pass the exam. For additional information and tutoring opportunities, WKU students can email the Literacy Center. So what's on the exam? The questions can be broken down into four categories. Number and quantity is one third of all questions on the exam. It contains problems about fractions, ratios, place value, and radicals. Statistics and probability is another one third of all questions found on the exam. It contains problems about center and spread, data representations, and probability. Algebra is about one sixth of all questions found on the exam, but algebraic concepts are on many problems. Questions are mostly word problems or multi-step equations. Geometry is about one sixth of all questions on the exam. It contains problems about triangles, quadrilaterals, and circles. For more information on content, see the Praxis Core Math Review playlist on the Center for Literacy channel. There are roughly 40 questions that are regular multiple choice, five questions that require you to select more than one multiple choice to get the correct answer, and then finally, another five questions that are fill in the blank. They will ask for something easy to type in. All of these portions may be subject to change, but this data is accurate as of 2022. Another note, an online calculator is provided on the exam. No other calculators are allowed. Assume that the only functions given on the exam are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, what is not found on the exam? Calculus, graphing, imaginary numbers, complex decimals, geometry proofs. None of it. There's no work on a late high school or college level. The exam is geared toward the equivalent of sophomore year of high school. Here are some general strategies. Use your calculator as much as possible. Don't do the four functions on your paper, such as multiplication. That's going to waste a lot of time. Type everything into your calculator to make sure that it's correct and you avoid mistakes and to save precious minutes. Use process of elimination. Try to think outside of the box and think what answers would be illogical given the situation on the problem if you don't know how to solve it. Finally, high school teachers aren't grading your scratch sheet. In high school, your teacher would show you your work and you had to correct individual pieces on how you solved the problem. We don't have to do that here. Find the answer as quickly as possible and move on. Finally, we have the C strategy. Almost all multiple choice answers will be listed from least to greatest. If you have to work backwards, such as plugging in a number, don't start with A, start with C. Let's say we plug C into our work and the number we got was too low. That means we can eliminate A, B, and C because they are all less than C. This gives you a 50-50% chance between D and E. With the C strategy, you will at most have to plug in three numbers. Remember to watch our other math videos to help you prepare for the Praxis Core math exam.